and I just, I just had enough. So I bought a camera. Experience is a massive thing. Make sure they know what they're doing. You, it sort of all flows together nicely. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You've built a rapport without trying. Like that's what you're paying for at our level. On a wedding day, where where do you start? I mean, you start with the bride. So I start morning. with the bride in the morning. So I will turn up when the girls are getting ready. I don't turn up too early because it's just awkward. Nobody wants a photo when half the makeup's done or when they've just got out of bed sort of thing. So I don't turn up too early. Years of experience has, have taught me what to do and what not to do. So I turn up with girls getting ready. Um, by this time they're near enough done, it's just kind of topping up and that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Do some shots of the girls. Then I move on to the church or, or, or wherever they're getting married these days. So I don't go and see the boys in the morning because boys don't want photographs. So they yeah. definitely don't want photographs in the morning when they're nervous and getting ready and yeah. their mates are there. And also, regarding photography, photographing the girls is nice and romantic, like I was saying, the, the champagne, the flowers, the, the hair, the makeup, all that is wedding stuff. The boys, the reality of the boys is boxy shorts, cans of Carlin, and playing FIFA. Yeah. And as much as it might be funny, and, you might, and some people are like, oh yeah, that's a, yeah, that'd be really good, that's what happened. It never, when you when see the photos, it's not making the album. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they're not starting with, you know, Tony and his best man Paul sitting in their boxy shorts. <laughs> it, it just didn't happen. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so, with the girls, you've got the pretty stuff. Exactly, you've, yeah. you've you've got the, all the dresses. You've got the, the mum yeah. there. You're meeting the dad for the first yeah, time. Probably one of the probably my favourite shot of the whole wedding. I love that shot. It's absolutely wicked because it. I always get, oh, my dad's not going to cry. My dad's, you know, he's, he's, he's a man's yeah. man and that. And I've heard it all before. And they turn up and see their little daughter in a dress and they, they fall apart. And it's lovely, do you know what I mean? It's a really nice moment. And, and from your point of view, that is, that is, I think that's a really important part for a photographer. And it's really important as a photographer to have the experience to know when that moment is going to come. As a photographer, it's almost your job to go, wait a minute. Yeah, cool, of course, yeah, definitely. And I might just pull the board to the side and say, look, this is what we're going to do, basically. I'm going to photograph. And we've already spoke about it when they've yeah. met me in the studio, but I'll get this, get that, get that. What do you feel about that? Oh, that doesn't look very good. Actually, this isn't going to work in this room. Blah, 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 blah. We'll grab some photographs of your dad, obviously seen for the first time, or whoever's given you away. Um, so if anybody sees dad, don't let him in. And we'll yeah. make a joke of it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, 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 yeah. you've got to lay the seed, or yeah. he just bolts in. So it. from then, do you... Do you have to race to the venue and be there ready before? Yeah, them? I mean, again, years of experience, I have a time um, and I always give myself extra time. That's when I felt with the boys. At this point, they're not as stressed. Yeah. They're still getting ready a bit. You know, they're still whipping on the jackets. They're still doing the buttonholes. They're still saying hello to people. They're still that getting, getting ready for the day feeling. Yeah. Um, I will then get a photograph of the groom and the boys really quickly. Yeah. Again, it's out of respect, it's building a rapport. It's the first time I've met most of the lads. That I want to say to them, look boys, I will be really quick. And then after the ceremony, we can get some more of you boys once you've had a beer and you'll be yeah. more relaxed. They love that. Do you know what I mean? They're like, thank you mate. They're like, the last, you know, you're the story. The last and it's the same with, with me as an entertainer. I, I can stand back at a wedding and look at the groups and go, right, there's, there's the boys, there's the mum, there's... And I know when, from experience, I know when to approach them, and I know what they can expect. Yeah. And I want them. I want me to feel welcomed. Yes. Yeah. And and that's what you're achieving, isn't exactly. it? So then, are you you're allowed in the ceremony? Yeah. So in the ceremony, depending on the rules, I can either be at the front, which is the best place, and I angle towards the bride to get the reactions from the bride. Um, or sometimes you you have to be at the back, um, which is fine. Like, I, I know a lot of photographers get annoyed with that. It's at the end of the day, it is a wedding. You know, you've got to be respectful of the process right, and what, what it's there, what it's about. So, at the back, I've got expensive lenses. I can zoom right in. There is plenty of things you can do at the back to get nice photographs. Really and then nice. after that, you've, you, you're allowed to take photos during the, the sun registry. But then, then that's when I tend to meet the photographer for the first time, meet you, and, yeah. and then. That's where you're doing the group shots, and I know some people don't like the group shot. They are, oh, so, you know, group shots. But I think, from my experience of, of weddings, it's they need to be. They you need to have them just in case afterwards the bride comes back to you and goes, I "Didn't get any group shots." Yeah. And you go, well, you didn't ask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, what I, what, the, the way I explain group shots to clients, because everybody comes with, we don't like group shots. It's, 
two things. First of all, it's the way you do your group chats. If you've got a good rapport with people and you are quick and organised, I mean, I can do group chats so quick, it's unbelievable. Right. And I make a joke of it being quick. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, um, you know, if you booked me, you like my sense of humour, you like me as a person, so we can have a laugh and it's not awkward. I'm not a stand-up comic. I'm not going to do silly, uncomfortable jokes and I'm not going to shout at people to get them in. We have a laugh, we get them in, we get them out, we yeah. get the job done. So from the from the point of them being boring, because I'm so quick, you ain't got time to be bored. That's the main thing. The second thing with group shops is they're not that important on the day, but they are extremely important years down the line. Yeah. So my granddad passed away two weeks after my wedding. The photograph of me, my wife, my granddad, and my um, and my nan is in our bedroom, and it is next to photos of my lovely wife and son. Is one of the most <laughs> important photos. You know what I mean? Like, yes. You know. Yes. Um, on the day, did it, did, was it, did, if I'm being it honest, it was a bit just, annoying. Yeah, I was like, yeah, oh, I was having a drink with my boys. Yeah. Do you want a photo of your granddad? Oh, come on. Do you know what I mean? But it means a lot now. You know. and, and I've got a photo like that. Strange enough, my, my ushers, um, they'd just come back from a gig from, um, I can't remember where they'd flown in. They were, they were ushers and then they, they went, oh, we're just too tired, we've got to go home, sort of thing. <laughs> and so the, the best moment I've got of them is is that photo of all yeah. just sitting there looking at our phones? Oh, the can yeah. I mean, they, when you get yeah. candid stuff, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it tells yeah. the story of the day. But it's almost it's almost that group shot, which yeah. afterwards I've gone, yeah, that's really important. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Sometimes yeah. you don't see the importance, and that's you know, if you book in your photographer, you trust in what they're saying. I like, do you know what I mean? If you don't trust them, well, don't don't book them. Yeah. Not, you know what I mean? So, and and then after that, do you do the what's it's kind of more more contemporary what's sort of repertoire sort of just clicking away whatever going on yeah 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 i mean that to be honest with you is the easy stuff that's done through the whole day yeah so that literally takes doesn't take much if any organizing so i'm just yeah. telling the story of the day just clicking away so you there's no particular time for it. you do it all the time so i turn up with the girls in the morning in the morning and I know I've got to get like a shot of her. She wants a shot of her and bridesmaids. The shot of dad walking in and the, the flowers. And there's a few bits and bobs, you know, ticking sort of boxes. Yeah. But the majority of it is literally me just clicking away. A good top will be ready. Yeah, yeah. But not noticeable. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And this is why I admire your job so much because it's actually really hard work. It's a long day because it's just the hours, but also you've got to be awake all the time. Yeah, I mean, to, to be honest as well, it's experience of you, some of the stuff that looks really of just taken it is a little bit more orchestrated than you think, but that's kind of the skill. Yeah. So, like the dad shot, but actually a lot of people look at that photograph and go, oh, look at that, you just captured dad doing that. Now, what I've done is, dad's probably, I know dad's on his way up, yeah. I've got the girls, I've put them in good light, I've put them together, so you haven't yeah. got like, the boy, two boys made, and then one of the boys that's not even in the photo because she's on the look. Like, I've got to make sure they're all there. Yeah. He's, so the reaction is natural. Like, he's walked in, he's reacted, and we've not made a scene. So I've not said, Dad, you're going to walk in, I'm going to take a photo. So we've not made a scene of it. So it is all natural. Yeah. Um, but it was orchestrated. Then on, on the day, you kind of finish. Um, just after the first dance, sometimes I, I guess you do yeah. two passages, you can finish early, but. For, for me, I, I say to people, look, you can have me for, for a quick, but I always want to feel part of the day. Yeah, yeah, you're not even... So I guess the best package is, is the one that has you finished just after the first dance? Yeah, usually, yeah, just after the first dance. Some people have an hour afterwards. Um, if they know they've got a big party, they're lots of, part, lots of yeah, people are going to get on the dance floor and do their yeah. thing. Um, so, yeah, it's be between, between the two. Um, I mean, I usually... I usually tell people just drive me to the first dance and then nearer the time. If someone says to me, well, we want you for four hours after the first dance because everyone's going to party, it's going to be a mad party, everyone's going to be dancing all the rest of it. And then you get there and everybody's sitting down and you're like, uh, you feel bad, you know, you've yeah, took yeah. someone's money and you're like, well, I ain't doing much here, like, yeah, what yeah. are you going to do? So, um, yeah, I say nearer the time, have a little think, are you going to have them party people? Cool. Thank you, Tom. That's all right. That yeah. was helpful. Nice to have a little insight into uh, what yeah. uh, Tom does. Yeah. So if that video has helped you, please uh, give it a like, give it a subscribe. Go to Tom's website, which is www.th-photography.co.uk. And your social media is? 
hashtag TH photo UK on Instagram. Thanks for watching and we will see you very, very soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Um, you look smaller than me. I do look smaller than you. I do that as well. Yeah. That's it. It's a podcast, isn't it? Isn't this not a podcast, is No. No. YouTube channel video. YouTube channel. Yeah, I should top them. Yeah. <laughs>